Okay, boys and girls, welcome back. Red Mist in the house once again. How you doing? I hope everyone's doing great. I'm doing great. And we, my friends, are playing some more Magic Legion. Now, what I'm going to be doing today, guys, is I'm going to be doing a little bit of dungeon fights. Um, but we've got a couple of things that we're going to be doing. And first off, what we're going to be doing is quickly looking at this message. And we're going to eat this takeout because we need some good stuff and things going on in the house. And... Now we're going to go into the dungeons. What the heck was that beeping? Okay, I'm really sorry if, that, if you heard that beeping thing, guys. But my laptop's going a bit crazy right now. Um, but we're going to redo that one because... Oh, come on. I, I'm not going to spend tons of diet. Do you know what? We're just going to take 50% and we're going to be happy with it. So, now, I, I've seen in the comments down below, guys, a few people have turned around and said, How... Can you get past level 7 in the dungeons? Now, I'm not going to lie to you guys. Normally, when you get to sort of level 7, that is when your team is starting to be seriously outmatched in terms of power and skill. So, it's all about having various different heroes all leveled up because you're not going to be able to always go from 1 to 15 with the exact same heroes you're going to have a really good chance of doing it if you have like much higher level heroes but sometimes you need to change heroes out um but it's also about knowing where your opponents are at the moment in time so like if you look at this right now like i've purposely left it so that as soon as that witch casts her spell you can go ahead and hit your spell but because of the way that she's being, like, I'm going to be permanently locked down here. And I'm now never going to get to attack this girl here. So, what you need to do is quite simply come back out of your form or out of your game. Go into your formation. And we know that the witch is on the left hand side. So, we know for a fact that Piggin is going to be able to kill her. Or she's going to be able to turn her into a pig super, super quickly. And then while she's a pig, we know that she needs to be done with. Uh, she needs to be bombarded with a lot of damage. So therefore, we need to make sure that Arno and the Shield of Doom are on the left-hand side because they're my two damage dealers. If you're not running two damage dealers, like say you're running uh, the War Mage and the Witch, um, for example, say that uh, Shield of Doom is actually the Witch, you would want to put your two damage dealers in the same line. So that like the witch is focused. It's the uh, same with the other way round. If the if it happened to be that the witch was actually on the right hand side, then you'd move your two damage dealers onto the right hand side so that they focus the hero in front of them. So that way they will focus the witch on the right hand side of the map rather than the left hand side. So you've got to bear that in mind. And also you need to bear in mind like obviously what people's skills are. So, for example here, or what their formation is. So, this for this example, the witch is on the left-hand side. So, I know that the automatically going to attack the left. So, the piggin is going to turn the witch into a pig. And she's not going to be useful at all in the rest of the fight. Because of, obviously, the piggin is going to shut her down. Um, or the piggin's going to kill her, uh, turn her into a pig, and then Arno is going to go kill her really, really quick. So that's one thing that you need to sort of uh, take a um, take a look at and kind of work things around. So, like, obviously, if they have the same thing, but in they have the witch in the back row, then that's why you need to have stuff like, like, look at this, guys. I'm not going to be able to kill the witch where she is right there because of, obviously, how, how my team is set up. So this match, again, is going to be quite frustrating. But one of the easiest ways to obviously get around this would be to go into the, like, again, if you look at the actual uh, witch's setup, we're going to kill her, but one of the ways around that would be if you can't get the witch killed quick enough, you just go back into the formation and you would just move your damage dealers over to the right hand side and they would focus the witch. But, for example, if they're in the back row, it's the same principle. Um, 
that's why I like to have the Snow Ice Lord because of freezing the back row. So if people are running the Witch or uh, the Magic Idol, for example, you can get rid of them quite easily. The same as this. Like, look at this. Watch the Snow Ice, uh, the Snow Lord at the back using the Shadow Arrow or the Ice Lord. Using Shadow Arrow, I'm pretty much able to one shot him. Um, with the added damage of the freeze that happened to hit as well so you need to kind of take into consideration what your skills are and what your opponent's running that's why it's always good to have a variety of spells that are leveled up you can't always use the same spells to get to the very end level now if you look at that right here we're, i'm starting to face people that have got the same slash more battle damage than me now so you need to start playing fairly smart like look at this arno's in the front row doing tons of damage so we, obviously we need to shut him down so we're going to turn him into a pig stop him from attacking and then the rest of my team's actually going to be able to clean this guy up pretty easily but that's just one thing that i wanted to touch upon because i've seen it in quite a few comments throughout the videos and also in quite a lot of comments of other people's videos. So that's one thing that you really need to take into consideration. What heroes your enemy is running. What positions they are in. And where your heroes are. Like look at this again. The witch is in the front row. So we're just going to go hit her with piggin. And now she's effectively useless. Like she's not going to be able to do anything except for the fact that we just don't have as much damage as this guy does. Um, so we are going to end up losing because he is a lot stronger than us. But the fact that you can just hit her with pigging quite easily is pretty much how you need to work things out and how you need to uh, focus your, uh, I, I guess, your setup. Um, but I'm going to call the dungeons right there nice let's see oh no we can't i'm gonna call the dungeons there right i just really play the first five levels i will be going further through the dungeons um or trying to get further through the dungeons but i'm not like focusing on that right now um this was just more of a quick little demonstration and hopefully help you guys get further on through those those levels but Oh, nice. We got another one. No, no. Already gone. So what we're going to do today, guys, is we have got the hero times 10 with just one more draw for the um, packs. Um, I believe I have a half price card. So, yeah, I've got four of them. So I'm going to go ahead and buy some of these. Now, I know I've said to go for the egg smashing while it's available. But because there is only one extra draw left of this, I'm going to go ahead and do this and see if just maybe we can get a couple of heroes that we need. Like, obviously, an Arno would be amazing. Any of the heroes that we're using right now, come on. Like, we're not getting any luck with the hero cards at the moment. Like, every card, like, look at this. Like, what? what is that crap? Like, seriously, like, Magic Legion, come on. Like, I genuinely think in, like, the last... Since that video that I posted that we got a ton of really good six-star heroes, I've got absolutely nothing when it comes to drawing heroes, guys. And it's really starting to affect my... Um, my possibility of moving on in the game. Because if you look at my heroes right now... This is really, really low for me to be able to move on throughout the game. So I'm kind of stuck in the Shadow Forest now because of the fact that the drop rate on the six-star heroes over the last few days of the cards has seemed to have dropped through the floor. Like, I genuinely don't think I have pulled a single six-star hero from a times 10 pack in like my last like what maybe six or seven times ten packs which is quite ridiculous because normally i get tons and tons of six stars and over the last day or so it's just not been happening and i'm going to show you just how frustrating it is because of that like 
it's really frustrating on the basis of like if we if I just quickly show you this right here, um, the reason why it's so frustrating is because of how much um, I'm pretty much getting destroyed now. Like look at this, guys. I I'm not even gonna be able to put a dent in these guys now because I'm that much further in the game and with the battle damage that I have, like the, there's just nothing I can do against these guys right now and it's really really frustrating because i know that like a lot of you guys are probably having the exact same problems but the fact that you're buying tons and tons of the times 10 cards um and you just can't get any of the heroes that you need it's really annoying because obviously that like we just can't increase and the fact that there's no other real way of getting many diamonds or getting the uh prestiges other than like sort of going and grinding the boss fights it's it is hard to sort of person or it is hard to continue to level up consistently which can get really really frustrating at times um but put down in the comments down below tell me how you feel about the way the six star heroes are because to personally i think that this hero transformation i personally don't think it should be five um i think that they should make it so that you could trade away three six star heroes and get one six star hero back and i also think that they should reduce the cooldown time on it so instead of it being like six days or whatever it is I think they should only make it so that it's like maybe three or four days so that you can kind of have, say, three heroes every two weeks that you need. Um, but put down in the comments what you think about it, guys. Like, I want to hear what you guys think about the hero transformation things. Um, because obviously it varies depending on what you do and stuff but we're going to go ahead and collect this right here and we might as well go and look at the um the cards that we've got so let's go ahead and open up these bad boys see if maybe i can get anything like i haven't even managed to get like any of the good five star heroes that i need either um so i haven't really got many of the war mages i haven't i've literally got one of the witch um which means nothing really like that there's just no way of really leveling up quite a bit um we got the blood commander at least but still nothing really spectacular if i'm being honest with you guys um but we're probably going to call the video there guys i really hope that you've enjoyed it i know it's a shorter video a little bit of a ranting video um but i really hope that you have enjoyed and please hit that like and subscribe if you're new to the channel and i shall see you in the next one peace on the streets